Lord of the Floor, man. Game changing for the breaking world in general. The battle of the year was our world championship. IBE 2005. Well, I was 21 years old. It was my first time competing at Red Bull BC1. I broke my fingers, I went to the hospital. They told me I was not able to dance, so I entered the competition and uh, at the end uh, I won. Yeah. Ho, ho, ho. The early 2000s. Ah, sweet years. No smartphones, slow internet, hip hop is booming. Baggy pants and bad haircuts, oh my, what a time. Where well, your phone looked like a brick and the battery lasted for days. The times where teenage comedies and boy bands were taking all the spots on TV and your bathroom wall. The times where your internet dial-up took longer than a walk from USA to Germany. Speaking of Germany, yes, that's in Germany, was hosting Battle of the Year in 2001. Well, it was hosting Battle of the Year since 1990, but we will talk about 2001. Battle of the Year was our World Championship, really, like, uh, we didn't have a, a crew battle as big as uh, the Battle of the Year. The city filled with so many people from all around the globe. It's Battle of the Year, baby, the hottest breaking event in Europe back then. Battle of the Year 2001 is uh, my first uh, international competition. I was uh, 11 years old. Battle of the Year is the breaking event founded in Germany by Thomas Hergenreuter in 1990. Crews performed the showcase round, and the top four crews advanced to the crew versus crew battle. It's 2001, and people don't know this yet, but they're gonna see. Some break it! And some wrap it! And some break it! And some scratch it! But you're gonna also see why this event is one of the most influential in the last 20 years. We wanted to represent each style of dance that we had in our team, and each uh, characters also that we had. I think we knew that we were different anyway, that we were not aware that we were kind of game changers. I met Junior's BOTY 2001. When I saw this guy, uh, Taisuke and his cousin, these guys, they really chucked me and they chucked the crowd. So. Being in final against them was uh, exciting. It was uh, an event that would, will always stay in my mind, in my memories, because it was my first big event uh, where I participated. The following year, but on the other side of the planet. Mm, nope. Not there, here. In Seattle, USA, Lords of the Floor is going off. Lords of the Floor, man. Game changing for the breaking world in general. Lords of the Floor is the first breaking event that Red Bull ever did. And in 2002, it was the second edition. Walking in, first thing I noticed right off the back is that it was in this huge airplane hangar. They treated the dancers like rock stars. Five Star Hotel. They also had masseuse in the green room. The lineup was so heavy that even Rock's right lost in the first battle of day one in the prelims. Obviously, me coming out of the bag was uh, the most memorable moment just because I got the most energy from the crowd. Like I say, it went off. We try to go around the cut in the corner where nobody could see us. And uh, I just snuck into the bag. I knew that was gonna happen, because I saw it before. But when you actually see it live, you're like, oh, it's coming, it's happening. Here we go, ready, ready, and boom! It comes out and it just starts killing it and getting down. It's Lords of the Floor, when me and KML won, it was 4,000. It was kind of hard to find an event back then for that much money. 
and with that production values, no way. Like there was, there wasn't like huge stages and lights and stuff like that. That's what Lords of the Floor did in general. It's really gave the standard of this is the caliber, this is the way we should treat these b-boys and b-girls. The big thing that happened after the event was Lords of the Floor DVD. Game changer. DVDs could spread out much easier, which meant you could see the battles sooner, and those copies traveled fast. Did I mention traveling? Let's fly out to Holland, to Rotterdam specifically, to the beautiful city of harbors, art, but most importantly, the city where IBE 2005 was born. IBE 2005, well. IBE, or International Breaking Event, was founded by Tyrone and Mario B. It is one of the biggest breaking events in the world since 1998. It was life-changing. Um, it was the first time Tyrone and Mario um, um, gave me the driver's seat of building the U.S. team. At the time, this was the only event where you could see dream teams of Korea, Germany, France, and USA battle against each other. It's the event, the one event that put us on the map, really. Really put us on the map. That small circle and everything like that, and rocking the way that I was and everything. I don't know, I think just like the environment always brings out the, the best in you, you know, at that time and moment. And the room was really small, and it was really packed. The opening of the old battle show, that was something that we actually, we practiced it, right? Yeah, we scripted Remember? It. Yeah. We are going to start! USA! Korea! It was so hot that the crews had, uh, had to wait outside on the street, and then they would, we would call them in, and they were like, bring them in! Bring them in! Bring them in! Come on! Bring them in! And then Shorty, Shorty Brick came out with the face mask. <laughs> he was just wearing the face mask. Speaking of the USA, let's talk about B-Boy Machine. I was like, what is it for a stupid name, Machine? Who wants to sell Machine? <laughs> machine is a legendary B-Boy from Sacramento, California, living his moment right there on the floor in Rotterdam. Just look at it. He made the event. Yeah, he, he won the food truck battle at IBE. Yeah. So we called it the notorious IBE. Like, you have to witness that. And uh, that was dope. Yeah. And that's it. Hmm, actually not. Have you ever heard of B-Boy Lilu? Ali Ramdani, or Lilou, if you wish, is an Algerian French breaking legend. So let's have Lilou tell you about the solo event that put him on the breaking map. I was 21 years old. It was my first time competing at Red Bull BC1 World Final. Red Bull BC1 2005, the second edition of Red Bull BC1. This one is happening in Berlin, Germany. Second edition, but uh, with a big explosion in the b-boy scene because of the recap of the BC1 was uh, on fire on that year. Amazing times. Internet is getting faster. You could actually download a 20-minute recap from Red Bull BC1 to your computer in less than two hours. Hip-hop is bigger and bigger. Back to Lilu. I practiced uh, a lot on that year. I entered a lot of small competition in France to be ready on the world final. I was practicing with my homies, Brahim, and uh, I broke my fingers. I went to the hospital. They told me I will not able to dance, but uh, I wanted to dance to, uh, to have the fee, you know. I was young and uh, happy to be part of the, this lineup. So I entered the competition, and uh, at the end, uh, I won with uh, a big injury on my hand. I think BC1 start a new era of, uh, of breaking with this format of solo battle. And I think Red Bull put the breaking in a statement that we are professional, we are more considerate by the other company. And they put the dancers same as the athlete, you know. 
and uh, I'm very happy that uh, BC1 uh, changed the game. These were the most influential moments in the early 2000s. Well, there were more, of course, but we have only so much time. Those were the moments that defined the new era of breaking. Times full of fun and exploration. Anyway, do you want to learn more about VHS, DVDs, audio tapes, vinyls, and more stuff from Breaking's past? Stay tuned. We just got started.